Call them hybrids, call them rescues, call them driving irons. Utility clubs are taking over the game of golf and I believe in the last 20 years are probably one of the best advances in technology. These clubs that live at the top of the bag are replacing long irons and allowing so many golfers all the way from the PGA Tour to beginners a lot more playability, versatility, forgiveness, consistency, all of those good things. Callaway sent me their latest utility clubs, the Apex UW and the Apex UT. One is a little more of a driving iron iron. The other is a little bit more of a hybrid. In today's video, I'm going to dive into just a full-on test and review and share with you what I do at the top of the bag to try to figure out which one of these would live permanently, the numbers I'm going to get, the shots I can hit with these, and ultimately the fun I can have with these at the 240 to 245 yard range. This first scenario, basically my second shot into this par five. I've got about 240-ish yards to the middle of the green. I just want to hit something solid Yes, I want to give myself an eagle putt, but that right bunker isn't the end of the world. And I want something that I know will fly the right distance if I hit it well, but if I miss hit it, I get a little bit more forgiveness than if I were miss hitting a long iron or really taking a lot off a three wood and miss hitting it that way. So let's just see what I can make happen today. So I've already spent a bit of time with these clubs on the range and in the garage. The UT is a bullet. It's just super, super strong. And I miss hit it because I'm, I'm not as sharp and I get away with a lot when it comes to a miss hit. Like that one was a little bit thin. It's in that bunker, but that's okay. Like if it's your second shot on a par five or it's a demanding long par four, that's totally all right. Like I got a good chance of making birdie or a good chance of saving par. bunker as well but pretty solid especially out of the rough so we had about 245 to the middle of the green right there on the front of the green with that first one and then those other ones we saw them they're in the bunker but the consistency the flight was very very good let's hit it off the tee and see what we can do with it scenario b the demanding tee shot on the short to mid length par four this is where I would grab my utility iron if I want to make sure I get something in play. I don't feel confident with driver or three wood or driver or three wood are just too much club or bring in too much trouble. So you grab the, the driving iron, you hit it hard. Maybe if you need to hit a little bit lower with wind or firmer fairways, you can get some run out of it. It's just super, super solid. And even that one maybe was hit a little bit to the toe side, but it doesn't feel like it's going left because that's my biggest worry when I get into the, the driving iron or the hybrid club. They're very, very draw biased and I want something that won't go left if I miss hit it. I want to be able to hit it strong and if I pull it, that's okay. But if I catch it a little bit off the toe, it's not tumbling on me. Like that one. That one, I kind of got a little bit at the bottom. It didn't just keep going. There's a lot of stability in this that feels really, really good. And yeah, if I want to hit it low, if that's what it calls for, I feel really confident kind of putting this in the back of the stance and, and hitting down on it, trying to flight it, trying to run it, but also getting away with it if I don't quite execute. So let's see if we can, we can flight this thing low. Yeah. Wow. Again, a little bit active with the hands, but it didn't just keep going. It kept me in play. This thing's really solid. That first one right beside the 250 and those other ones that I got a little bit aggressive with, kind of overturned them around the corner. Look at them. You know, I've got 120 yards into this 400 yard dog leg left par four that if I had hit driver brings all of that into play but I got away with not even perfect execution and look at that okay let's just hit the same shots with the UW and see what we can do instantly out of the rough you set this thing down and you feel like you can hit it out of any lie it just sits so well behind the golf ball and the bigger footprint of it compared to the UT just instills a lot of confidence out of the rough. Like I had to give myself good lies with the UT out of the rough. This, I could let this sit down in the Bermuda 
and, and feel totally okay with it. Oh my gosh, it's just so easy to hit. So that one I got a little steep, got it a little bit heavy, pulled it a bit, it did clip those trees, but it still probably would have flown to the front of the green. Whoops. Let's try that again. It's just a little bit easier for me to get this thing going left. Would I trade that for how easy it is to, to hit out of a lie like that? That's up for debate. So there's that first one dang near perfect a couple of them got going left and, and clipped the trees but the height was still great whereas one of them still covered and got me up here so you know you take the good with the bad but it's uh, it's impressive nonetheless so then we get back up on this tee and it's like it almost feels like cheating addressing this to it it looks so easy to hit so forgiving and it feels like i can just get a lot out of it with very little effort so let's just hit one out there and see what we can do a little miss hit so you see it just go a lot higher and that's my uh that's the thing that worries me about the utility wood for my bag and my swing i just don't feel confident with how high it goes especially on a miss hit and then the flip side if i were to try to flight this and knock this down i don't feel very confident about that but let's try nonetheless that was surprisingly easier than, uh, than one would think. And it didn't look too terrible, but you see it. Like I had to work pretty hard to get that about the same height as the UT. So that high toe miss hit still went eight to 10 yards further than the UT. And I'm not in any trouble whatsoever. And the well hit flighted actually didn't go as far as the flighted UT. So that's very, very interesting. Obviously that club is not meant for being really knocked down. It's meant for being hit hard and giving you the forgiveness if you miss hit it. So I've spent a lot of time with these golf clubs. First and foremost, I just took them to the range, was having fun with them. Just what they felt like, what they looked like, what I could do with them. Then I came in here and I hit a lot of balls. This is like a 10 shot average of just the solid ones. I, I eliminated the miss hits, the thin ones. I wanna see what these things do when I hit them 85 to 100% solid. They're both 19 degrees. Yes, this is a 20 degree head, but I had it bent to 19 degrees. So that actually gives it a bit more of a, a fade bias. But when you compare these clubs head to head, it's apparent the UW is just, it's just further, it's faster. The club head speed is up, the ball speed is up, and the carry distance is up. Obviously the UT launching a little bit lower and the peak height is considerably lower. So that's where these things really kind of stand apart is this one is meant to launch it higher it's just the way this head is designed it's getting the golf ball up faster but it's staying up there with really good spin numbers obviously this thing's going further it's easier to hit it's more forgiving but i did find that it could go anywhere from let's say 236 to 256 depending on just you know how solid it was hit which is nice but if that's your second shot into a par five or into a par four, I don't want that, that extra gear when I don't need it. But I do want that extra gear if I'm saying, you know, I got 255, let's just try to pump this thing because three wood's just a little bit too much club. So I'd rather try to hit this thing hard with that extra gear. This one was a little bit harder to find that extra gear, but the dispersion in distance was a lot tighter. A, a solid one versus a not so solid one, there was only kind of like eight to nine, 10 yards difference. Like if I didn't hit this solid, it was always eight to 10 yards short of the distance I wanted it to be. But when I really pumped it, it didn't go like 10 yards further than I wanted it to be. I found the UW had that propensity. Like it could just be smashed when you don't want it to be smashed. So who are these for? Well, ultimately, it's for the player, like I said, that, that needs that help at the top of the bag. If you're someone who hits a lot of irons off the tee or, or plays a very tight golf course and you want a bit more forgiveness and a bit more strength, well then, yeah, then this is for you. But if that's not the shot that you need, if you need something at that long iron distance that you wanna get up in the air, that you want to stop relatively fast for that distance, the UW is for you. Or you can have both, a lot of great players will carry both of these. If they play a lot of tournament golf, depending on the conditions, they may gravitate towards this if it's firm and fast, 
or they'll gravitate towards this if it's they know they've got a lot of longer shots, maybe maybe two to three in a round versus that tee shot where you don't necessarily need the height, but you want that, that penetrating consistent flight. For me, I thought this was it. I didn't even think this thing stood a chance, but then testing it, playing with it, this really, I think should live in my bag for the golf that I'm playing right now. I don't hit a lot of the irons off the tee anymore. I'm just hitting driver everywhere, but I do find myself at like 240 to 250 once or twice around into a par five or a long par three where I can get a lot more benefit from this club, especially if I miss hit it, versus having to basically hit this thing perfect. This creates a little bit more of a gap between my UW and my four iron. Little, this is a little bit closer to my three wood, whereas this is a bigger gap between the three wood and the UT versus it being a little bit closer to my four iron in distance. But I think for the foreseeable future, uh, I see the UW living in my bag. I really thought it'd be this one. This thing is so sexy, it's so solid, but for where I am with my game right now, it's not the best club for me. So the UW, I mean, I'm almost 40 years old. I guess it's time for me to use a utility versus a driving iron.